Okay, we got our Viper engine all mounted up, got some really nice motor mounts, everything slides off really easy, only took like an hour and a half or something like that to make it. So let's get on to the fuel system now. Okay, so now let's look at our fuel system. As you can see, it's really simple. All it is is two high-pressure 12-volt automotive fuel pumps. Only I run them on 24 volts. That way I get a really high pressure out of them, like 120 PSI, because the engine likes really small nozzles that spray really fine. That gives us really good power. As you can see, all I've done is I've just taken a piece of aluminum bar, just three-quarter by three-quarter, drilled three holes in them, tapped them, screwed my pumps into it with one outlet here. I drilled a hole through the end here, it connects all three of them and then just welded it back up like that. So anyway, and then I just took a piece of plywood, just 5 8 plywood, painted it real nice. And then we'll put our fuel pumps on there. Take our nice aluminum cover, slide that over it like that. Got a really nice looking fuel system. Okay, here's the one gallon propane bottle that's really the heart of our instant start system. I have a 12 volt solenoid up here, one gallon propane bottle that I've welded some tabs on so I can mount it to the frame, but make sure you do that with a brand new bottle that's never had propane in it. And then we'll just mount that down to the frame, hook the wiring up to a push button start, and away we go. Okay, now we're on to the electrical system for our Viper cart. It's really, really simple. It's just two 12 volt batteries that I run in series. It gives us 24 volts. Speed control, which gives us our throttle. Two switches, just an on-off switch for our main. Push button for our spark and our propane. This is a coil, just a 12 volt cheap, I think $12 coil. It's got a little relay on the side of it, which is also a dollar and a half or $2 or something like that on eBay. 500 volt capacitor. And if you just email me, I'll shoot you the diagram for this and you can make it, it's just super simple. And that's all there is for the electrical on this cart. So I'm gonna put it on right now and I think this is the last thing that we've got going on this.
All right, I got my Twin Viper jet go-kart all done. Now basically this is just a jet engine kit that I put on a go-kart. Took me two days to build it, uh, but of course you know I have to move cameras around and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna take it out and test it. But before we do that, let's take a good walk around this. I wanna show you exactly how everything works, how the plumbing and all the wiring works so you can get a go-kart and you can build one of your own. Okay, I'm gonna do a technical walk around of our Viper jet go-kart, 100 pound thrust Viper engine. So here's the engine back here. And you can see this is a, a propane line coming in here. That starts our engine. And then we have our diesel injectors back underneath there. Both those lines go up there. One goes to the propane bottle, and one goes to the fuel pumps. So let's look at our fuel tank. Now this go-kart came with a fuel tank, which is really cool because I usually have to make them, but it was a shifter cart, so it's a nice big tank, and it has uh, two outlets which is also perfect because we have two fuel pumps we have to put fuel to. So the fuel comes out of there, goes down here, goes into our high pressure fuel pumps. Now these pumps are 12 volt um, pr high pressure pumps that usually make about 65 PSI, but I run them on 24 volts and get about 120 or 130 PSI out of them. Uh, so you wanna atomize your diesel really fine so the high pressure is really what you need so the fuel comes out of the pumps goes into this bar and then goes out a single line to the engine now here's our propane bottle for just for starting it's a one gallon tank has a 12 volt solenoid up here when you push a button it shoots it into the engine uh, along with the uh, spark starting at the same time you push the button and uh, fires the engine up as soon as the engine's running you turn on your diesel and uh, then it takes over on diesel and you turn the propane off so let's go around on the other side and take a look at more of the electrical. So here we've got our two 12 volt batteries. Everything's just kind of exposed on this one. Just a, a quick build. Looks kind of cool, I think, having stuff where you can see it. It's just two 12 volt batteries. As you can see, I've got a, a, a line here that makes them run in series, gives us the 24 volts. And here's our speed control that gives us our throttle. But our solenoid on our propane and our coil are 12 volts, so I can't run 24 volts into them. So you can see that I just have a, another line on each battery. So one line goes to the 24 volt, and then the other lines go out at 12 volts that go to our um, propane bottle and our coil. Now our uh, instant start is just that push button right there. So to start the engine, you just open up the propane bottle push that button and it opens up the propane and starts the coil at the same time and then it just blasts the life and you hold that down until you turn on the fuel pumps and it takes over on the diesel. As soon as you can hear that the engine is revved up on the diesel you just let go of that, turns the propane off and then you're running on a 100% diesel. So as you can see other than just uh, you know it's just a, some wiring that's here and there nothing fancy at all. It's a super super simple build. It took me uh, Took me two days to build it, but you know I'm moving cameras around all the time and everything, so um, I guess I should probably fire this thing up for you anyway. So. All right, so let's do a little quick pop. I'm gonna open up the propane bottle, put my headphones on, and pop it off for you real quick so you can see how cool the instant start is. Every time, man. Every time. That is super cool. Okay. If you don't know anything about pulse jets, you just don't see that out in the pulse jet world. It's always blowing air in with the compressed air or uh, leaf blowers or whatever. So this is a, you know, a pretty big upgrade in the world of pulse jets. So it's time to get out on the road and give this thing a good, good run. Here we go.
for watching everybody. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode.